Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial on the Teleport Me virtual tour platform. Uh, Teleport Me today is one of the largest platforms for creating and sharing virtual tours that will engage people both from a marketing and a sales perspective. And uh, we have been iterating rapidly and growing our product in terms of features every single every single week. And uh, if you go to teleportme.com slash roadmap you will see all the amazing features that we put up and uh, today we are very happy to announce the feature that is polygon hotspots and uh, i will do a quick demo for you and show you how that works and also some of the use cases that it can be used for uh, for your customers and clients so what exactly is a, a polygon hotspot so let me go into one of our tours. Uh, this is by one of our customers uh, who has a uh, really nice uh, brewery right here. And what you can see is you can see there that already there are some hotspots. This is a hotspot uh, that is linked to a panorama. Uh, this is a text hotspot, which has the title. This is also a text hotspot. Let me just delete this for now. Um, and then uh, over here, what you can see here is a polygon hotspot. So a polygon hotspot lets you create a completely separate and independent uh, hotspot. So uh, if you are new to this product uh, and you're wondering what a hotspot is, a hotspot is a link between uh, your content. Uh, that is, if it is a panorama to another panorama. So if you want to go from here, uh, to another panorama right here, you add a hotspot. And uh, this can also be a image. So for example, if you wanna choose an image. So when you click on it, it'll open a photograph. Uh, it can be audio. So if you wanna put a uh, audio file. So a hotspot is kind of like a link, an interactive link that somebody places on their uh, virtual tour. And, uh, one of the problems with these hotspots is they are generally the form of an icon, something like this. And you can obviously change the icon. You can make it into something that's a little bit more animated. Uh, you could use it to make it uh, somewhat a little bit more colored. You can upload your own icons. Uh, you can move the size and everything. But sometimes you want more than an icon. And so for that, we have introduced something called the polygon hotspot. A polygon hotspot, let me show you what it does. So here it looks like a house, but it actually is a hotspot. And here, if you click on it, you'll see that there is a hotspot here, which is a link that I can link within the panorama into uh, any other content. So let me delete this for now. So when you click, so as you go into the editor, you'll now have add new hotspot or add a new polygon. So when you click on add new polygon, uh, you see that there is this thing that shows up and this can be moved around as much as you want. Um, it can be uh, stretched. So when you click on one of these, it becomes white. That means it's active and you can move it around. So for example, if I want to create a hotspot for this house, I can kind of zoom in and move my hotspot in. And I can just place these markers wherever I want them to be placed. Right, and so slowly you can kinda just build out your polygon hotspot. I'm not doing it exactly uh, because for their demo purposes, this should be enough, but you can make it as as close to real as as you would wish. Um, so maybe you can bring this on here. And so now this actually becomes a hotspot, and it kind of blends into the scene. You really can't say this is a hotspot till you hover or you click around it. So generally what you want to do is you want to kind of fill it in a color that is a little bit different. So I generally go for red or green and I kind of make it this way. And so once you have done that, once you have 
created the hotspot. Uh, you can maybe increase the stroke size a little bit, kind of make it a little bit more attention grabbing. Now you can connect this. So instead of an icon, now you can connect this new panorama. You can link it to a panorama inside. And so when people click on it, it will go to that panorama. So when you save it and you preview it, So you can see, you can see this hotspot and when you click on it, it takes you in. So instead of a crazy large icon right here, you see that you can go back and it's nicely hidden within the panorama itself. Great. So now you can do the same thing. You can uh, connect it to an image. So when you open for example, let me select this one. Let me save it. Let me go back to this panorama right here. Let me refresh it. So when I click on it, it opens an image. So because you change this over here from panorama to image. Now, when I click on this hotspot, it opens up an image. And similarly, I can make it a URL, so on and so forth. Uh, well, I mean, this is this is pretty much the beauty of this, uh, this specific feature. Now, for example, let me show you here. Uh, as you go around here, you'll see that this is a hotspot. Uh, and when you click on it, it will show you what it can do. So imagine if you have a video of how this works. To make it a little bit more apparent, you would probably maybe, maybe make this stroke color a little bit and do something like this. So now people know that this can be clicked, right? So when you save this and I think this is the one. No, this is the one. Let me refresh this. So now you can see that here you have this uh, hotspot that is kind of highlighted. It's not an icon, but it kind of blends within the panorama. And then when you click on it, it is, if it is connected to something, for example, let me see what it's connected to. It's not connected to anything right now. So let me connect it to an image. Uh, let me connect it to kind of icon. I don't think this is, I have to refresh this. So there you go. Now this, when you click on it, kind of opens the image. So that's the beauty of the Polygon Hotspot. When you create it, it kind of blends into this. This is really useful for museums when you have, say for example, you have an art piece here and you want to kind of show it up. You can really create a hotspot here. Let me like kind of zoom in a little bit. Here you go. So now I have that and then I can kind of connect it to uh, a larger image or let's say I want to connect this alleyway. So putting an icon here, I can just put a polygon hotspot.
There you go. And say, for example, you want to delete one of these things. So you can click on it and you can do command delete and it just kind of deletes uh, this part. So you can easily, if you make a mistake, you can easily delete and go back. So now you have a hotspot here. There you go. And now you can reduce the trope size. You can fill the color in with say green, you know, and you can link it to another panorama, which is basically say, for example, it's this, and then you can save it. So when you now go back to that panorama, you have this nice little doorway and then you can click on it and then it goes here. So this, this specific polygon hotspot can be used for a variety of purposes depending on what you want. It can easily be uh, made into any kinds of shapes. For example, let me show you, I think uh, maybe it's this one, I think it's this one. So let's say you wanna do a hotspot for this one, right? So this area, so you kind of go here, bring it down here. So here, as you can see, I'm kind of really placing this thing as well as I can. There you go. And now I can change the color a little bit. So go. Actually, let me make it a little bit more obvious. So I do this. So now over here, you can actually see that this is clickable, right? Oh, right. And what you want to do is maybe you want to put it to a URL. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, it looks like a kayak, kayak uh, store. So let's say this is my website. And, you know, I guess uh, let's find a nice little kayak here. Oh, fishing kayak. All right, this looks pretty okay. I copy this link. I go here. I add the URL. And I save it. And now uh, when I refresh this, you will see that when I click on it, it will open up this part. So this can be used like in a lot of ways. Uh, and I think that 
this is uh, pretty much we are the first people to do this uh, for the most part uh, that I know of. And so I think uh, if you're a customer for ours, go ahead, use it, uh, sell it to your upsell it to your customers. And if uh, you know, you're thinking about buying our product, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, we're one of the best products in the market and uh, we've been uh, adding new and new features every single week. Uh, go to telepermi.com slash roadmap to see all our new features and how we are kind of slowly building the best virtual tour software in the world. Thanks a lot, guys.